Right now, Maine wardens are looking for two missing men. They say the two were off-roading yesterday when they never came back. Wardens say the pair, Travis Mosier of Rangeley and Douglas Richmond of Madrid, met at Richmond's home around 2 p.m. and went on his Jeep. Officials are not sure exactly where they went. Anybody with information, though, should ask is asked to call public safety dispatch in Augusta. One of the Mainers who was on board the sunken ship El Faro will be remembered today. Funeral services will be held for 25-year-old Michael Holland of Wilton. The celebration of life starts at 4.30 at the J Community Building. In lieu of flowers, donations can be made to the Michael Holland Scholarship Fund. A push to allow convicted drunk drivers to keep their licenses if they agree to submit to alcohol screening twice a day. That is, State Representative Patty Hemanson says imposing fines and taking away licenses just doesn't work. The executive director of the Maine Chiefs of Police Association says administering the screenings could be difficult for small police stations. Happening today, local leaders will head to the Holiday Inn by the Bay for the monthly Eggs and Issues Breakfast. Up for discussion in Portland's ballot questions and legal marijuana. Patricia Rossi, the CEO of Wellness Connection Maine, will be today's keynote speaker. Thanks for tuning into this News 8 update. I'm Erin O'Valley. I'm Megan Torgerson. Make sure to check back at WMTW.com and our mobile app for the top stories and weather anytime. Have a good day.